you want to be in the video? Hey everyone, how's it going? It's on with your BFF, favorite actor. Marlo's here too. Say hi, Marlo. Have I got a story time for you? So generally, I'm not a big proponent of posting about auditions online because I'm like, oh my gosh, you did your job? Wow. And also like, call me when you get the booking. But just this last week, I had an experience auditioning that was so terrifically like stressful. Yes, rivaling even the time I was called back for the next morning when I was 800 miles away and had to book a red eye to make it there that I feel justified in sharing it. Generally, the way auditions work for me is that my agency will procure an audition and they'll email me and be like, hey, you have an audition, it's gonna be at this time, this is the client, go do your thing, go be your best self, like go, you know, go. However, recently I've been doing my best to meet new people and foster new connections and make new professional relationships because I want to open up more avenues for work. And I guess it worked because just last week, a casting director based down in San Diego emailed me to personally invite me to audition for a play. It had been like a year and a half since I'd auditioned for anything in person. I feel like in my experience anyway, most stuff casts off tape these days. Anyway, I was really, really excited to go. So the night before I took out my boots, I dusted them off, shined them because I was super excited to meet this casting director whom I had not met before. And I really wanted to make a good impression, not only with my performance skills, but also, you know, I wanted to like show that I put effort into how I looked for this meeting. I also had a lot of fun printing off my resume and like trimming it down to size and stapling it to the back of my headshots because that was something that I was so used to doing. It was part of my routine. I would like wake up, print out the headshot, staple it to the thing, and then go to the audition. But I feel like since entering the like digital age, most of the casting assistants already had all my information. So it was something that I didn't have to do a ton, but they requested it. So I was happy to oblige. I'm gonna let the footage take over for a minute. All right, I'm about to head out the door, but I figured I would show you what's in my bag, just in case you're like curious about what kind of stuff I bring with me on auditions. So first I have this folder, which has my headshots in it and little written copies of the monologues that I use. I also carry my planner with me. I can make notes in it on whatever happened at the audition and um, it just helps me keep track of stuff, so this. I also bring a book to read while I'm waiting. I'm reading this one right now. A comb for any like flyaways or whatever. And uh, then in this front pocket, I have a couple of pens. And then in this last pocket, I have some old business cards. I'm gonna update these soon, but I also have some post-it notes case I need to make notes on anything, I found them to be very useful. Some chapstick, and then some mints. All right, wish me luck. All right, so my car freaking broke down in the middle of the freeway, look. All of a sudden, all the lights came on. And it just stopped. Trying to get a job out here is like this. My word. So the tow truck is here. Um, he's just confirming information with like AAA. And I sent, I've sent an email to the casting director being like, my car has broken down unexpectedly. I remain very interested in this opportunity. Oh, hang on, the guy's coming back one second. I'm now in the cab of the tow truck. Margo is all, she's right there. <laughs> now we are basically just like on our way to the repair shop. See you there. I know. It was like kind of a headache, but now Margo has a new alternator, so she's like play on a call. If you thought the story ended there, oh, oh contraire, contraire, there is more to tell. So 
I was driving to martial arts as I do thrice weekly when all of a sudden my check engine light came on. Not this. So I plugged in my little reader to pull a code and I got P0303, which means cylinder misfire in the third cylinder. And I have a basically rudimentary understanding about the way that cars work and like engines and batteries and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, that's gotta be a spark plug. But I like opened the hood and checked the hoses just to make sure. And it like wasn't the hoses, so it was like definitely spark plugs. I went to the auto parts shop and bought a spark plug. I also bought a spare ignition coil in case it was the coil and not the spark plug. I was under the hood and had removed the box and everything so I could get at the spark plug. And it was like way, like it was stuck in there. I bought the car in 2017, or wait, 2018? So I've had Margo for a few years and since then had driven from LA to Salem and back and you know, like done my regular driving and hadn't changed the spark plugs in all that time. So I was like, okay, it's probably just like rusted in there. And I really like put my back into it and I freaking broke the spark plug in half. So I took it back to the auto shop and was like, hi, can you please help me? And the guy was like, sorry, no. I was like, so like find another auto shop or like what? He was like, no, pour some brake fluid into it. It's a combustion chamber, so it should be fine. Try again tomorrow. So I was like, okay, fine. Risked my life, drove the car back because it like, without the spark plug in it, it's not a V8 engine, it's a V7 engine. And so it kept on basically like kept on misfiring. And so the engine was super shaky. I even posted on Twitter and was like, hey, can anybody help me with this? Zero likes, zero replies. I literally felt like I was up the creek without a, like fully SOL. Okay, so I went to this other auto parts shop, showed them this, was like, hey, can you help me get the other piece out? They were like, no. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I did a ton of research about it, called the original auto parts shop where I bought the spare spark plug and ignition coil. And they were like, there's a guy, Garcia, who, we'll probably be able to fix it for you. So I took it into him and thankfully he fixed it. So now she runs with no problem, no check engine light, purrs like a kitten, like I'm so happy. Oh yeah, and the job, I didn't get a call back. I did contact the casting director and she was super chill. She was like, I hope everything's okay. Yes, please send in a self tape. And I did and I did really well, but no call back. And if you're an actor, like, you know that as long as you do your best, there's nothing else that you can do. So I feel good about, you know, how it went. I had initially filmed because I was like, I thought I was gonna get the job and was going to do like a retrospective that was like, this is how my day started. And then now I have the job, but as it turns out, it didn't happen that way, but that's okay. I'm glad I got to share my little car experience with you. I mean, audition experience with you. Here's the other part. It's just like normal wear and tear, but thank you Garcia's auto repair for saving me from cataclysmic engine failure. So that's it for this video. Please comment down below if you have any sort of similar experience. I would love to hear about your mishaps and how you handled it. And also let me know if you like this kind of story time video. It's basically like my first time trying out this sort of format so any kind of input i would very much appreciate definitely also click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when i post and i will talk to you in the next video bye